So this is the Tezuka piece. I actually brought this off the wall from inside the bedroom right now. Um, this is the one that we're talking about in the, in the podcast. And the one that I got for far less than I thought I would spend on. Um, I'm a huge Tezuka fan. And even though it's, it's assigned to Mike Price, I, 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 you know, I just love this piece. It's not, it's not something that uh, I would get anywhere else, you know, full, full commi Tezuka commission. I don't usually even collect commissions, but this is really something that uh, appeals to me in every way possible. The, the god of manga, uh, a guy who's who's uh, well known internationally, uh, doing a, a beautiful woman who's a robot, <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is really one of my favorite pieces. And these are two pieces uh, framed as one, um, two Sandman pages that I really love. I think the first one uh, on the the one that you see on the right with death and and a dream is something that I paid. Uh, for six months, um, it, it, it was quite a sizable chunk of my salary then back in India uh, and I was really happy to get it and I'll, I'll be eternally grateful to the, the seller for, for letting me have this piece. Uh, the one on the left uh, turned up on Scott Edder's gallery and Scott kind of approached me himself and, and said uh, it, it, it needs to be in my collection and I completely agreed with him and I managed to frame both of them together. I, I ended up framing this myself. Uh, I, I got the frame at a thrift store and, uh, you know, cut out a chunk of matting myself. Uh, I may go back to it and change it sometime, but I really like the way in which the pieces kind of pop from the frame. All right, so this is the Lone Wolf and Cub piece that I mentioned again in the podcast. This is the one I, my first purchase from Heritage ever um, hit my max bid and managed to get it. I was super happy. When I when I end up getting it, um, the, this piece is a story in the sense that uh, another version of this piece was on sale on CAF a couple of years ago when I was back in India. It was way beyond my price limit at the time, and uh, obviously I couldn't pick it up. I tried asking the seller, who at the time I think was John Butler, about it, and uh, he said no. That that the person who had consigned it at the time needed immediate payment, and I could not, um, uh, you know, afford time payments. So. Yeah, I, I passed on it. I regretted it at the time, but when this or the published piece came up on Heritage, I was super happy. And as it turns out, the the price I paid for this was the exact same amount John was asking for back in the day. This uh, Brian Leo Milley piece, um, I saw this at Felix's table at Big Wow Comic Con a couple of years ago, and unfortunately, it was sold. Or at least he told me it was already promised to a collector. And he told me the price, and I was like, oh my god, at that price, I would have bought it. As it turns out, the collector backed out, and uh, Felix contacted me, and I was happy to pay him what he wanted for it. Uh, what I love about this piece is uh, not just the size, well, the size is great, but the fact that it's a, a riff on a Street Fighter poster, which I remember from back in the day. And, uh, you know, all it features all the Scott Pilgrim characters. Uh, I had been eyeing Felix's... Uh, poster and his gallery, which, uh, which has all the Scott Pilgrim characters, and I'd been after him to, uh, you know, sell it, but this came as a great uh, counterpart to that particular poster, and kind of, kind of uh, uh, proves my point that there's always something that comes up, you know. <laughs> this piece from Preacher is one of my favorites, uh, not just because it has a Saint Achilles, but because it has a really interesting history. It, it turned up on eBay with a bite now of $500 and was bought immediately by, by a friend of mine. And um, he owned it for a couple of years and then he needed um, to get something else. And he asked me if I, if I want to buy it and I'm like, sure. And I, I mean, the moment it came up on my calf gallery, it, it was one of those things where people are like, okay, uh, where'd you get this page from? It looks insane. And I was, I was really happy to, to get a Saint of Killers page for my collection. Um, those are hard to come by. And uh, this is, I think, one of, those, one of those pieces that will stay in my collection for a really long time.